How do I send a healing to another person? Hey guys, it's John. I'm back again. I have a qu comment and a question here on uh, from the channel that I'd like to address. Um, it says, Is it possible to send healing to others through focused meditation slash sitting in love? Uh, i.e. sending them love or praying for them? It's a great question. And I believe this is Philippe who sent this. Um, it's a great question because, you know, with the Father and I are one, number one. But on the other side of this is, is um, where two or more are gathered, so, so, so I am. Therefore I am, right? And so your intention, your intention of sending healing prayer, hearing, healing love, is absolutely beneficial. Absolutely beneficial. It does take a, a <coughs> an interaction with the person on the other side. Now, here's where most people get tripped up: is they think, well, they can't respond because they're in a coma. They they can't respond because they're they're incapable or whatever. People tend to forget that life is eternal, and that the physical world is just a consciousness state. And when you send a healing intention, especially over distance, you're not actually, or even in the room for that matter, you're, you're not actually talking to them. You're sending them this healing intention. And in sending this healing intention, you're actually sending it on a, on a higher level of consciousness. You're actually sending it to, from, from Holy Spirit self to Holy Spirit self. Now, the physical world being just the vehicle, the body being just the vehicle, right? You're actually sending it to an eternal Holy Spirit self. And they can choose to take it or not. And oftentimes they will choose to take it. And sometimes they won't. But it's always beneficial to have an extra energy behind it, extra, extra intention behind it. You know, there's, there's a mass consciousness that we live in. And I often use the analogy of the house across the street. Did I believe that house into existence? Or did the architect, the builder, the owner, and all the owners there, they're through the roofer who just put a new roof on it. Am I, did I believe that into existence? Or did somebody else believe that into existence? This mass consciousness believed that into existence. And because it's in the mass consciousness, I see it in my existence. So it comes down to, if I'm sending something out into the oneness of God and through the oneness of God, you know, the more of us that can do that to a certain extent will change the outcome, will change the world. And it's a matter of when you send a healing intention of, uh, through prayer or however you want to do it, whatever the method or modality of sending it is, make sure you have a belief that it works. Make sure you believe you're, you're actually sending it. Because it's the belief that is the communication. It's the feeling behind that belief that is communication. And if you can have that true belief that I am joyfully sending healing intention, healing energy to that person, you know, but it always depends on that person to say yes or no, to, to believe it or not, take it on or not. And I always get arguments about, well, what about babies? They, they can't have faith or they can't believe. It once again comes down to the vehicle. The body is just a physical vehicle in the physical consciousness state. But we are far more. We are far greater. And I, I know this for several reasons. Number one, I've been out of body. But number two, I, I talked to my son when he was in the womb. <laughs> he got really annoyed with me when I was trying to say, oh, please be a boy. He said, I am a boy, right? He, I literally had a conversation with him prior to birth, right? That's the same thing with anybody you're sending healing to. You can have higher conversations with them. And it's a matter of being very conscious of saying, you know, I am sending healing energy to you. I am, you know, I am praying. To let them say it to them. I am praying for your health, right? But it's not the prayer. It's the belief. The belief is what is the delivery vehicle. So if you want the healing to get sent to them, for them to choose to take it or not, then you have to believe you're doing it. And that's my thought on that. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. See you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. 
The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.